okay. So I've got my insulation in all the way to the back. Let me show you. See? Nice, nice. I cut, I figured out where I'm going to put my wall for my shower. I'm thinking it's going to go like this and then it's going to angle back and then come to here. And this will be my shower all the way to the wheel well, this area. And I stuck my kill mat on the rest of the floor. And with the 15 and a quarter, I think I put the pads at 16 inch increments. So now in some places the aluminum overlaps just like this in the back where I'm going to have to cut it so I can glue these to the floor. And another thing, see these little, these gaps? I figured it's about a quarter, about five sixteenths, a quarter-ish. So I got these rolls that are a quarter inch thick. And I'm going to cut them, probably on a bandsaw. I'm going to cut little strips and just lay them wherever I had those little gaps in there. Simple and some extra insulation. I cut two rolls or I cut one roll into two I still have a lot left over but that looks like a lot I'm gonna see how far that gets me I might not use that roll I might take it back but this is the idea that it'll slide under there so wherever there's wherever you see bare metal down there it's gonna be covered by insulation and then the glue will cover this so minimal metal from the floorboard is going to be interfering with my aluminum struts but aluminum is a very good conductor meaning it can get really cold and it can get really hot and wherever it's touching the floor of the van whatever the temperature is of that is what these aluminum struts are wherever it touches it's going to transfer that coldness up into it and that was i knew that going into it that that was going to be probably a uh, might be an issue if i put wood on the floor of the van that water from this could leak anything could get under there shower could leak who knows any any possibility and that wood will start rotting and it would be nasty getting that back up and getting to it so aluminum was the best option and i just went to home depot to get those foam strips and i totally forgot to get my glue i'm going to use on the floor but back to home depot that's not a cork gun that's a cork gun nice yep got 28 fluid ounce tube of heavy duty construction adhesive out of 3,000 choices of different types of adhesive, I settled on Loctite 375 PL Heavy Duty Construction Adhesive. This was like the only one that allowed for under 40 degree adhesion because of I'm doing metal to metal. This, uh, this one allows metal also, which was a selling point. It was also cheap, which was a selling point. I think it was like $5 for this 28 28 ounce tube and it allows for I said below 40 adhesion metal to metal and it's like 40 degrees in the shade right now I'm going to turn on the van and let it heat up a little bit before I adhere this tube but I also got to cut my wood floors before I even do that so I'm jumping ahead of myself clean this up put in my wood floors Whoa!
copyright. I don't want to be sued. Well, here's my old floor. Remember that? Hope you do because that means you've been watching all my other videos. But as I have it laid out here, Olivia, get out of my video. So, walk on that. Look, all right. Get, get, get on out. Jordan, you made me part crooked. Let's see what you do. Olivia, you always part crooked. And I don't think it matters. Here. Tell him to fix it. What? Tell him to fix it. What are you hiding? Gross. All right. So, since I've got my sub floor out, a uh, sudden thought occurred to me. Why am I about to cut new pieces out of plywood when I got a plywood floor? So I'm going to use that. But my only issue is, in the back, I'm going to put... This is going to be a, uh, a spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I don't know why I can't say that. But I'm going to put tile, and it's going to transition into my wood floor. The only problem is that the tile is a little bit thicker than laminate wood floor. So I'm going to have to drop the back a little bit deeper. And with under laminate or a, uh, a waterproofer, grout, tile, it's going to be thicker than what that is. So, what I'm gonna have to do is chop up the old floor, like probably in the back, like this. Weird, like that. And uh, get a little bit thinner piece of plywood. So I'm gonna build out this area so my cabinets and countertop could come out and my little table will flip up so when this seat is swiveled, the uh, table will sit up right. And I think I could just put that subfloor in here and it will fit this little cavity neatly. And I could just build a little platform out of plywood that'll be flush. And then when I put my wood floors in, it'll all be even and that'll tie everything together. That's the plan. So let's clean this up. Cleaned out all that junk that was in here. Now you can get a good idea of my insulation process. See, I buried the lines in the floor. When I cut the, uh, the subfloor, I don't want to bury any fittings. So that coolant is from when I filled this reservoir. It poured out over, so I'll clean that out. There's no leaks. But, so I ran that pipe through the floor. It's just like this one, but with those angled brackets, it's kind of making it do that. But with the plywood on top of it, it'll, it'll push it down. And that's where hot, cold, run up into my mixer right there. But the uh, insulation is looking pretty good. The floor is, I'm going to step on... So you can see what the floor looks like and I'm going to do the same with my other floor but I'm going to cut out spaces for the water and for this I, I, it doesn't need to be like super tight so I'll just rough measure it and cut about a quarter inch uh, bigger than I need to just for extra ease and in installation but that's what the floor looks like it looks just like it did when I first got it so it's kind of underwhelming but there has been a lot of a lot of stuff going on in here it's all the hidden components in what makes a livable van so I drew all my measurements for where I need to cut out spaces for this for those pipes and for this and I think I got it all, so I'm going to mark it on my other board.
Well, I got my floor in. I struggled maneuvering it around all my things by myself. I didn't have anybody to help me. But all my cuts are where I wanted them to be. Around this, I'm gonna mount the heater onto my floor. So that's why I don't have it bolted to anything and I can move it around. And these vent holes are gonna be on the face of a cabinet. But all, uh, there's some gaps around the edges and that's fine for expansion and movability. Well, this is just my dry fitment. I'm gonna have to take everything out to glue it and screw it, but, well, not to screw it, to glue it. It's, uh, this is pretty secure already. The floor is not buckling in any places. I'm stepping on it and there's no give at all. So I'm very happy with that without it being screwed or glued. So once that happens, it's gonna be solid. Uh, I turned on the van for like five minutes cranking the heat and it's already maintaining heat in here where when I would turn it off, it would like immediately get cold. The floor insulation, just having the floor insulation in there, there's already a major difference. So I'm excited about that, I'm happy about that. I wanted to get it glued by tonight but it's getting uh, a little late, pretty tired. So I might call it a day. It, there's no problem in me gluing it and then working on it while the glue is drying. There shouldn't be a problem Then I could screw it at the same time. I mean, everything's going down there anyway, so I don't see any problem. Tomorrow I wanna work on building out a box like this one to hold my batteries. I'm going to hold my batteries on top of this and I'm going to make a box around this wheel well and I want to start working on my shower. I want to start building walls for my shower and figuring all that out. And when I have a wall or at least the studs for a wall, I could put plywood on the back of the wall, have my plywood box, put plywood on this wall and have a whole bunch of surface area that I could start screwing um, electrical components too. That'll give me a lot of mounting options for electrical. So I think that is the next step and once I have my electrical in there I can start running my wires every which way. And now and with my main electrical things all placed already besides my lights I can figure that out but that'll give me an idea of where to mount, where to put, where to place certain wires and wire looms and yeah i think this was the easiest way to do it so i took my floor out in preparation for gluing i turned the van on so it gets a little bit warmer in here so the glue's not trying to stick to really cold aluminum uh, i still gotta i'm gonna take out sections at a time just so i don't mix up the pieces and as I take it out, I'm going to put down my quarter inch insulation strips that I cut. All right, let's do it. Floor's in. That was a lot harder to do the second time. I just ran out. It was the perfect amount to get all the way to the last strut. So I got everything in. Now I'm going to screw this floor to those aluminum struts. I taped uh, some aluminum tape across that middle strut or that middle seam. And everything fits, everything's good. Now I'm gonna screw it. And I didn't cut out that back piece like I said I was gonna do earlier in the video, but um, I have some other ideas on how to transition that tile to the floor. So I'm just gonna leave it in right now and screw it. Self drilling lathe screws, one inch. This is what I got to drill into my aluminum struts. And I'm gonna go in with a drill bit Drill a hole, so the, uh, here's an example. 
so the screws sit flush and they're just gonna go through this through the aluminum hold the floor down you don't really need to see all that I'm just gonna do everything I'm gonna put the screws every about every six inches that should be good all right my floor is screwed and I found a whole bunch of heavy things rocks buckets of rocks ladder some my batteries and I'm gonna let that sit for a little while I think that's where I'm gonna end this video next video I'll be working on my framing for my shower and a little box to go over the wheel well to hold some batteries so thanks for watching if you have any questions please leave a comment and pretty sure that's everything all right see you next video